You found it. Your home for the best content on your favorite team, the Fighting Tigers of LSU. Do us a favor, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments below, and be sure to smash that like button. Uh, if you're not familiar, DJ Pickett is the number one cornerback in the country for 2025. Uh, he's out of the state of Florida, and he he is a guy that literally every every program in the country wants. And when you have a five star consensus number one prospect in the country, of course everybody's going to be in on him. Uh, the sort of thumbnail on Pickett: six four one seventy nine, um, five star. In the composite, he's the number six overall player, the number two corner in the composite. He's the best player in the state of Florida. The reason he's number two in the composite, three of the four sc uh, scouting services have him as the number one cornerback. On three, ESPN rivals all have him as the number one cornerback. 24-7 has him as the number three cornerback, so that's why in the composite he's two, but three of the four services rate him as the number one cornerback in the country. This is the guy that... Everybody, like, everybody wants. Um, and it was interesting because DJ Pickett decided over the weekend that he was going to narrow down his decision. Uh, he announced he will make the commitment on July 17th, so this will happen next Wednesday while we're at SEC Media Days. And he also eliminated Georgia from contention. So he was down to four, and now it's three. It's LSU, it's Miami, the in-state school, and Oregon. Now, Oregon got the last official visit from DJ Pickett, and there are some people who think that DJ Pickett is kind of trending toward Oregon. As a matter of fact, here was Steve Wiltfong, um, who actually said he thinks that Pickett will pick Oregon. Today, I like Oregon, but there is a lot of time for Mario Cristobal and the Hurricanes to make a move. Those are the two teams I'm watching the closest. I think that official visit to Oregon the weekend of June 21st continued to remind DJ why he loves Oregon so much. Yeah. And his dad, when I talked to him about the visit, he was like, it's a haul to get out to Oregon, but when you get there, you forget how long it took to get out there. And they love <laughs> Dan Lanning, the defense, the staff, Coach Lupoy. So that was Steve Wilfong talking. And again, that was almost a month ago talking about the other two programs in the running year, Oregon and in-state Miami. But I want I, I saw this quote over the weekend from DJ Pickett, from, from the horse's mouth. And this was at On3, and I saw it in a piece that Shea Dixon did. And what stood out about this quote from DJ Pickett was the comments he made about Corey Raymond. And y'all know we've talked plenty about Corey Raymond and how I feel about Corey Raymond and him coming back to LSU. But this is what DJ Pickett said. Again, this was this weekend. Quote, Me and Coach Raymond, me and his relationship is like no other. I feel he cares for me even when I'm not committed to the team or a school yet. He's just a person who really cares for me and someone I feel like I can go to about anything. Pickett went on. I liked LSU before Raymond even got there. But once he left Florida and he went to LSU, it was a no-brainer to go visit and see how everything is. He said, once I visit, I would love it, end quote. Now, for whatever it's worth, in the on-3 recruiting prediction machine, DJ Pickett is still projected to go to LSU. Of the top 50 cornerbacks, 5-0, of the top 50 cornerbacks in America for 2025, there are 10 that are uncommitted. So 40 of the top 50 are committed, 10 are uncommitted. The top two uncommitted cornerbacks are DJ Pickett and Jabori Antoine. And LSU, according to On3's recruiting prediction machine, leads for both of them. Now, I don't know what that means, if he'll pick LSU, but... This is why you brought Corey Raymond back to LSU. To be able to get prospects like DJ Pickett and Jabori Antoine to campus. Y'all, last year, Jawan Johnson was the highest rated 
cornerback signee from LSU's class. He was the 47th best cornerback in the country. In 2023, Jeremiah Hughes, a three-star from Las Vegas. Just forgive me, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. Jawan Johnson was the 27th best cornerback. In 2023, Jeremiah Hughes was the top-rated cornerback in the class, the 47th best corner in the country. In 2022, the first year that Corey Raymond was gone, LaTerrence Welch, the 21st best corner in the country, was your highest-rated signee. The last class that Corey Raymond had his fingerprints on, Demarius McGee was your top-rated corner. He was the ninth best corner in the class. Before that, Eli Ricks, the number two corner in the class, five-star. Before that, Derek Stingley, the number one corner in the class. Before that, Kelvin Joseph, the number eight corner in the class. You get my point? A lot of single digits nationally. You don't have the Jimmies and the Joes in the secondary anymore. LSU took the field last year. DBU took the field last year without a single draftable prospect in that secondary. That's unconscionable. Corey Raymond is here to fix that, to get those types of prospects back at LSU. Now, can LSU overcome Oregon and Miami's NIL advantage? No. Not financially. LSU is not going to go dump a bag on DJ Pickett that's bigger than what Oregon or Miami can do. But can you pitch him something that's all-encompassing? The allure of Corey Raymond playing at LSU in the SEC, DBU, playing for Corey Raymond, and have a nice NIL package to go along with it, that's that's the charge for LSU with DJ Pickett. I know there's no cornerbacks committed right now, and it's a giant position to need now and moving forward, but I'm not going to overreact. I want to see what it looks like in December when that signing period comes and goes, and then we'll see what may happen in the transfer portal after the season. But suffice to say, if Corey Raymond ends up pulling DJ Pickett and Jabori Antoine in this class, it'll feel like back to the future. Because all of a sudden you're getting the type of prospects that the type of prospects that were here that built the DBU rep- reputation for the decade. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.